Hello, hello, hello. How is everyone doing today? We are going to be carrying on playing some more. There it is, Neko Can Dream for the original Game Boy. And we are embarking on the third story in the game. And I wish I hadn't pressed anything then because I just found out something really cool and that is the fact that the Super Game Boy 2 actually animates its borders if you leave the game on standby for a certain amount of time, which is really cool and I didn't know that existed. Um, anyway, I've got to try and figure out what to do next. We are beginning the third story in the game, which I believe is called the City Story. So, let's see where this section goes. Hey, it's a nice night, nice breeze, so dry. I'm not a fan of the human season, despite what I might look like. He's, uh, he's a Game Boy. I'm not really sure where I need to go. Hopefully the audio is okay. I've left it exactly the same as it was in the last episode, so hopefully it's fine. I'll just angle the camera a little bit better. There we go. Now I can slouch a bit and be a little bit lazy tonight, so delicious. But why can't I get water? This is a famous cookie shop in the northern city. They finally opened a shop here recently. Munch, munch. Hey, did you find a can opener? I don't think so. A video game monitor is embedded in the table. Cool. I actually had a, um, a tabletop arcade machine at, at, at uni many years ago, and it had uh, Space Invaders on it, which was really cool. Hmm, I can't choose. What is he choosing? Hello, hello, good evening. Welcome to Seven's Tetra. Cookies? Or do you want to eat in? Whatever. What, you forgot your wallet? Ha <laughs> ha, that's too bad. Bollion MC2, audio is perfect. Excellent. And hello, hope you're doing well tonight. Welcome. Is that all he has to say? Why are we in the toilet? <laughs> okay, we can open and close the toilet seat. Perfect. I would expect a Japanese toilet seat to open and close itself. Shoddy. Uh, let's go in the Yakitori restaurant. This is back where we started the game. It seems you got a dream can from the second human as well. It's great. Keep up the good work. Next, cross the pedestrian crossing on the right and continue straight ahead to the end of the road where the last human is. Just like the others, look into the dream and find the dreamer. Let's do it. What, you had a strange dream? You turned into a cat? That can't be. Hey, do you remember when I said you have the potential to become a dream canner when we first met? That's because they say that people with cat's ears like you don't dream. They don't have dreams of their own, so they can easily empathise with other people's dreams and get into them. Isn't that the same for you? How strange. Yes, for those of you who missed the last session of this, towards the end of the session, I was, I think it was a dream anyway, or maybe it was like a hallucination or something, but the main character pictured herself as a cat jumping across the roof of different buildings and you know going past shadowy figures of people in the streets below. So she's a little bit confused now because apparently she's not supposed to be able to dream. And that is the whole reason why she can get the dream cans from all the different people in the town. Um, that blue dress looks good on you. I think we've already spoke to these people before. An after work drink is a must. There's some more people over here. I don't remember seeing these. Hi, nice to meet you. Are you a regular here? Yagi man? No, you've mistaken me for someone else. Hey, don't I know you? Hiccup. So, I think these were people from the murder mystery which was in the last episode. Anyway, what we need to do now is go across this zebra crossing here. And we can carry on the story on this side of the town. Ahead of here, there's just a subway station. I'm trying to catch a taxi, but it's not going at all. Maybe it's because the traffic lights have been red since a while ago. <clears throat> Drool, okay. Not sure if I'm even supposed to be going up this way, but never mind. We found an office. I am Neko Bungi Sumia, a programmer. The final phase of the main development was incredibly busy. For anyone who doesn't know, that's actually the developer of the game. That's pretty cool. 
Let's see who else is in here. I love it when games have their own development studios. And, <laughs> and she's a graphic artist as well. And the translator. Localizing games is really hard work and I hope I'm doing it right. I never know how to pronounce that. Welcome to... Am I... Am I taught? Am I taught, eh? I'm Nakobongi Samir, the scenario writer. Thank you very much for purchasing this game. Whoa, two of the gates is here. I've ruined Ritsu's stream. Why? What have I done? Is it because I uninstalled Resident Evil? Yay, thank you for the resub as well. Oh dear. I know, I'm in trouble. I had to make room for Alan Wake 2, which I've been really enjoying. Uh, as you can see, I developed most of this game on my own. I am Neko Bungi Samir, an illustrator. I drew the artwork for the box and for the booklet. I love the artwork, by the way. Have a look how nice the art is for this. Looks amazing. And on the back as well. How have I been? I've been okay. I was sick for a while after we'd been away for London, so I was pretty much out of action that week. But I'm feeling a bit better now. And I've got a very busy few weeks ahead as well. Wales Comic Con this weekend. Then I'm in London for the gaming market. Then I'm off to Manchester for work. And then we're away in Birmingham for MCM at the start of next month. And then we're in Wales for Christmas. So it is non-stop. I don't want to go too far as I might get lost. Right, I think we're supposed to be carrying on down here. Ahead there's just a subway station. But that must be where we're supposed to be going. There's a weird blob creature as well. Looks like one of the enemies from uh, Link's Awakening. Sigh, I'm starving. I think today is the day I'm going to try that yakitori bar. That's where we just came from earlier. Uh, are we going to Wales Comic? Yeah, we got a table. Finally. For the first time, we've actually got a table there. So yeah, if you come down, me and Sarah will be working at the show. Yay! It's about time. We've been trying every year since it's been on. And she finally heard back. Uh, I'm stuck here waiting for my friend forever. Oh no. <laughs> I wasn't expecting a swear word. Oh shit, I forgot my Suica. Ticket machine, but you don't know how to use it. Oh, how can I help you? Did you lose something? Or did you forget something? I'm just trying to find out where the next person who's asleep is. Um, are they just asleep in front of the door? A human elderly... I guess that should just say an old lady. Is sleeping calmly. Sometimes the um, translation isn't too great in this. Uh, will you look into her dream? Uh, yeah. I guess so, although it seems like she's just unconscious rather than asleep. But never mind. Let's see what's going on here. Whee! Oh, it actually broke the signal then for a second. Is everything okay? I'll get out the instruction book as well because there's a nice little illustration that should go along with this part of the story too. So, if I find the right page on here. And find the right one. There we go. So, this is the story we're just about to embark on. This is called City Dream. And as you can see, there's the lady that's... Uh, Sleeping. Hopefully not just passed out. And there's a nice illustration to go along with it. And for anyone who's interested, the previous two, and you can go back and watch these on my YouTube channel. So there was Moon Dream, which was like a murder mystery on a spaceship, which was really cool. And the first one was called Fish Dream, which was kind of an annoying collect em up section, but it was still an interesting story. And I just love the artwork as well. There's the uh, art for the first part of the game where you're on the roof in the city. It looks so nice. So, there we go. And it is available in English as well now. It was a Japan-only game for a long time. I believe so, anyway. Right. Anyway, back on with the game. You're the tuna seeker from some time ago. Okay, so this is a person from the first game who was also fishing 
in that one and we had to go and find nine different pieces of tuna in order to uh, progress that story so you were swimming in the sea Here we go, stage three, the city dream. I kept trying to catch some fish, but I wasn't having much luck. The only things I managed to catch were people with cat ears, including you. And look at that. They're the other cat-eared person I've caught today. I love these full screen cutscenes as well. Really nice graphics for the Game Boy. I was hoping I would see more of them. Oh, you two knew each other? Right, you two with the cat ears, would you mind helping me out? I've been struggling to find some extra hands. I need to get back to the venue and start preparing. If you'd like to help, please meet me in the town square. Now if you'll excuse me. The white-haired, cat-eared person apparently intends to accompany you. The white-haired has joined you. Again, a few weird, awkward translated sentences, but it still makes sense. Hello, what brings you to our desolate town? We've been experiencing a rise in earthquakes lately, so be cautious not to fall into the sea. We're having a barbecue party, yay! Although the guy who's supposed to bring the meat hasn't arrived yet, so we can't get started. Oh, there's something going on in the town square. I guess they have to do something lively on a regular basis, because it's such a boring town. Square? Hey, that's rude. Oh, you meant the town square. Go right and you'll find it. Are you two taking part in the competition by any chance? This town is getting old here and there, and I don't know how long it will keep. This town floats on the sea. These ruins are old buildings from when this area was still land. You can see how big buildings used to be when you see them extending from the ocean floor above the sea surface. The newly built houses on the sea are all small. Hey, is this like a recreation of the city that we were in earlier? Because this is the same shop that we were in. Ah, welcome. A bouquet costs five coppers. Maybe I'll have to come back here later. Pant pant. Oh, my bad. I'm just carrying some stuff to take to the venue. And you're also blocking my path. You can see how big the buildings used to be. I guess we'll come back around there at some other point. Let's try going down here. We haven't been down here yet. That's the same. Apparently we can't move those boxes. They must be very heavy. Right, let's go this way. <coughs> competition. What is the competition? Town Square, at the top of the stairs right there. I have no idea how this competition will go. Pant, pant. Oh my bad. Just carrying some stuff to take to the venue. Okay, I guess we have no choice but to go up here then. Thank you both for coming. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Botica. Um, what I would like both of you to help me with is... Uh, nothing other than making a cake together with me. How long have I had sub button? You mean subscribing on, on Twitch? I've had it for about a year, I think. And good evening to you as well, Sonus Leo. How have you been? Uh, I know it's a bit confusing to hear that out of the blue. Actually, this place is... Clap, 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 clap. Oh, it looks like the briefing is just about to start. Let's listen. Oh god, I hope I don't have to do some sort of competition or puzzles. Thank you all for your patience, and welcome to the 921st cooking competition. I am Wisteria, your head judge. 
The theme of this competition is torty, but it's up to you how you decide which type of torty you want to make. So give it your best shot. The team with the best will be the winner. Alright, let's go for it. I've had it for six months. Oh my god. I've been streaming even longer than I thought. 16 months. Wow, that's crazy. Well, thank you so much. How can I see how many I've got? I think I have four now. It fluctuates up and down depending on how popular the streams are. Uh. Whoa, thank you for the follow! Oh, hey, they've all got Christmas hats on as well, that's fun. Can't see how many subs I've got. Got four subscribers! Yay, thank you all for the support. And Jerome. Sorry if I mispronounced that, but thank you so much. Anyway, back to the game. What happened to you streaming to the gates? Weren't you going to play through all the Resident Evil games at one point? Uh, I cannot afford to lose. The winning team will earn 100 gold coins. And while it's a secret, what it is at this point, we have another great prize in store. The time limit is three hours from now. Good luck, everyone. <laughs> you promised you were going to play through all of them. What happened? Did you hear that? The winner gets money and a prize. I want to win this at all costs. But the challenging part of this competition is that the contestants have to gather the ingredients on their own. As you can tell, I can't even catch a single fish. But with you, who has a proven reputation for finding things, our victory is assured. We'll share the money and the prize, so could you please gather anything that could be used as ingredients for our torte? Okay. Thank you. First of all, the key ingredients. Butter, sugar, eggs, and flour. Find these four to make the dough. Oh no, is it another fetch quest? I hated that on the first one. Please gather the ingredients. Right, I guess I have to go out then. Well, 4's got a remake now, so you can just skip the original and play that one instead. And I'm sure 5 will soon, judging by Capcom's reputation. <coughs> and you can play separate ways the DLC for 4 remake, it was really good. I finished that a few weeks ago now. You are from team number one, right? My name is Melissa and I'm on team number four. Are you going to be looking for ingredients? You recognize my face? Hmm, I'm sorry, but I don't think I'm the dreamer or whatever you're looking for. She's an elderly lady, isn't she? I'm a teenager, as you can see. Oops, I didn't have time to chat. My team is also searching for ingredients, so I'll see you later. <coughs> Right, let's go looking for some ingredients. And whatever else we come across along the way. There are so many different books, exciting! It was seven years after the evacuation that the former inhabitants found their homes under the sea. They built a floating village right above. It seemed too difficult to read. Hmm, doesn't seem difficult. A book titled An Introduction to Bareback Diving. It appears to have been well read with its pages showing signs of wear and tear. There are so many different books. Am I not allowed upstairs? I guess not. What happened? Ah, you're the person seeking various items in different worlds. The Item Seeker. Do you remember? You can check the items you found by pressing the menu button and selecting item. Yes, although I don't have anything in this one. Just a sad looking lady. How do you pronounce that? Is it torte or torte? Drool. Hey, you there, cat ears. Hot dog. Wanna buy a hot dog? Sorry, I don't have that. Do the police have any ingredients for me? Nod, nod. This is the police station. 
I guessed that. How can I help you? Did you lose something or did you forget something? No. Is there any point in going in there at all? Apparently not. Good looking hot dogs in the stand. These are nice chairs. Will you take a rest? Sure, why not? Oh, we get a nice little picture there as well. Hello, let's see what your name is. Stag Woodshop. Finally a name I can pronounce. Welcome to the stream. I'll pop it back on full screen so you can see. This is actually the uh, second part of this, but I'm playing this homebrew game here, which was made by a Japanese developer called Neko Bungi. And it's called Neko Can Dream. And it's a really interesting story-based game. And there's basically three different stories in the game. So I did two of them in the last stream. And now we're on the final one. So don't worry about having missed anything because they're all separate stories anyway. And basically you go into people's dreams and you can kind of solve their problems. And then you collect a can of cat food, but it's called a dream can. And then you take that back to the real world and then you sell it to someone in exchange for actual cat food. And then they're just doing something with their canned dreams. I don't really know where the plot's going yet, but hopefully we can get to the bottom of this in this episode. So it's a very interesting game anyway. Uh, my body is slime, so if I fall into the sea, I might melt. Or it might get bonkier and more powerful. Who knows? Yeah, this is on Game Boy. I'm, I'm playing it on the uh, on the Super Game Boy, on the SNES. But yeah, it's an original Game Boy game. You can order it from a website called alicebooks.jp. So it's a Japanese release. But it does have an English translation, which is what I'm playing here. And I think you can also play it on itch.io as well if you just want the ROM. Yeah, made for the original DMG, so... If I do that. Um, there you go. That's how it should look. But I liked uh, I like this colour scheme. I think this fits the game well. Uh, I hear that playing games on waterproof mobile phones is becoming more common these days. It was unimaginable when I was born. What a pleasant sea breeze. Although my parts start rusting if I stay in the wind for too long. I'd say it's worth picking up if you want an interesting story. Oh darn, I've ended up in a strange place. How am I going to get back to bring this Aussie beef I found at the bottom of the sea? He wants to swim over to the barbecue pit, which we found up there. Let's have a look down here. There's a whole bunch of people. I don't know who you are, but thanks for stopping by. Have you prepared some flowers? No. Was I supposed to? Is there some sort of funeral going on down there or something? What's going on? There's a flower shop here. This place seems massive. You can see how big the buildings used to be when we extended them. Oh, we've already spoke to these guys. So basically, in this dream, it seems like the original city was flooded about 100 years ago. And they've since built all these floating buildings on the surface instead. A bouquet costs five coppers, but I don't think I have any money. And it won't let me select anything. Hmm. I hope I don't end up getting stuck. In the first part, I got completely stuck. Because I was supposed to be finding things. Uh, you two have decided to become contestants. That's very brave of you. By the way, what do you think the secret prize is? Hey, we got a new subscription. Thank you. Layily. Sorry if I predict... Whoa, they're coming right out of my face this time. Ah, get out of the way. There we go. Thank you so much. And a early Merry Christmas to you, I guess, judging by all the Santa hats that were flying around. There's something going on over there with a lot of money. The guy who's supposed to bring the meat hasn't arrived. I know where he is. I don't know how to bring him over there. I'm also not entirely sure what I'm supposed to be doing now, either. I don't think we've been this way yet. I've been watching from here. You two are contestants. Good luck. I have no idea how this competition will go. Okay, we've got another new path now that he's moved his boxes. 
Well, I'm not sure, but if you're searching for something, you might want to try the ocean floor. There's a dive site to the northeast of this town. Cool, sounds like we're going to go diving. The old city still lies in ruins at the ocean floor. Our role as divers is to explore underwater and search for relics. Oh, you're here for a treasure hunt? There's a building ruin over there that serves as a diving site. If you follow its outer wall, you'll reach the ocean floor. Do I need a diving seat first? Hey, do you have a license? Uh, even if you couldn't, even if you could dive, you wouldn't uh, have your treasure without a license. You can get one at the police station, straight south of here. That's why I needed to go to the police station. They could have just gave it me before that. This, blame the recent increase in earthquakes. Bridges are collapsing one after another, and we can't keep up with the repairs. Alrighty, to the police station. I think I know where that is. Or do I? Southeast. There it is. Let's go and get our diving license. I presume it's this guy over here. Nope. Want to dive in the sea? Ah, you're a treasure hunter. You need to take a course to get your license for that. Would you like to take it now? Alright, come this way. Is this a diving course or a dancing course? Hey, okay, that's that's how you dive, apparently. You've got your lockpicking license, and now you can open treasure chests lying at the bottom of the sea. Okay, it wasn't actually a license for diving, it was a license for lockpicking. Okay. Congratulations on, on obtaining your license. You can now unlock all the locks you want. That means that I can go back to the first two stories as well, because there was a bunch of treasure chests hidden around in them too. So that's in interesting. We can go back and see what was hiding in them after as well. But for now, hopefully we can go diving, unless I need to get a diving suit or something as well first. Uh, other way. Do we go up to the top, don't we? Do I need to speak to that guy again? Oh, you're here for a treasure hunt? There's a building over there. Serves as a diving site. Dive into the sea from this site. Yes, let's go. Okay. Just follow the building down. Got some funky music going on down here as well. Ah, oh, that's really cool. So this is actually the city that we're in before, but now it's all underwater. Treasure, treasure. Hey, you're not going to steal all the treasure I'm after, are you? The early bird gets the worm in the treasure hunt. No moaning later. That's the diver's code. I feel like I should try and... They're going to drown. What are they doing up there? Are you still unable to make a voice? Wisteria. Dot, 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 dot. Hey, I have an idea. I can show you one, I can show you one sign language. This is your name. Two pixels up is their name. Try to do the same. Oh, they oh, just exploded. We found a treasure chest though. You got a copper coin. I guess I need five coins in order to buy the flower to give to them people at the bottom of the pier. Ooh, what's going on now? More earthquakes. And again. Am I going to get trapped under here? Oh no! But I'm swimming. Can't I just swim over it? Apparently it doesn't work like that. And that way's blocked as well now. Well, I got one copper coin, and also that way's blocked too. And again. Treasure! Won't let me get it. Oh, 
It's so hot every day. You always wear such heavy clothes, even in summer. Are you fine with that? Well, sometimes you have to put fashion first, even if it means putting up with the heat. I'm not really sure what I'm seeing here. Have I missed something about these characters? You open the chest. You got a copper coin. That's two now. I guess I'm supposed to get five. Will it show me what I've got? No. Oh yeah, two coins and no ingredients. It's crumbling all over the place and the city ruins are like a maze. And I've lost track of where I am too. Well, we're still making progress. I hope you'll like it. What's this? You know, I can only make simple things. It's tomato soup. That's about as good as what I can make as well. Sounds delicious. Now let me have a taste. Ugh. How is it? Mm, uh, 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 no, not bad. Thank you, Melissa. Oh, that's great. Hey, Melissa. Yeah? I will be cooking next time. Oh god, it was so bad she exploded. Jeez, that was close. I almost got crushed by the collapsing building. Got another one. That's three. Oh, or is it? We got something else here. You got a bag of granulated sugar. It might get a bit wet though. That's one thing for the competition found. Now I'm... Oh, I'm going the right way. Excellent. You open the chest. Did I get another coin? I found some eggs. You got some fresh eggs. That's two things down then. Uh, let's try going down here. I'm just guessing now the places we have or haven't been. A long stretch of nothing. And some more rubble. And it took me a long time to get my license. I went to the police station for a month. What? You got yours in a single day? Ha, ah, you're kidding me. All I had to do was sit there and watch some lady dance around for a bit. It wasn't hard. Oh god, crossroads. I have no idea where I am. Yes, that was a lucky guess. You got a copper coin. Um, Yeah, you can't find it on Google because it's a Japanese website. But if I load up my history from last time uh, I was on this computer, I should be able to find you a link to it. Uh, yeah, here you go. You'll also need to use Translate on the web browser, because the website's in Japanese too. But if you click on that English ROM edition and, you know, go through the shipping stuff on there, there's overseas shipping available. That's where I got it from anyway. So, there you go. Not the easiest thing to get a hold of. Uh, let me see whether I can find the devel developer's site for you as well. Hmm, apparently it's on Google Play, so if you've got, uh, if you've got Android. Uh, there you go. Check that out. I presume that's in English. Anyway, back to the game. Melissa. Oh, I'm so sorry. Uh, hey, can you ask an off-topic question? Sure, go ahead. 
and I'm not going to try and pronounce your username, but hello. Uh, oh, I'm so sorry. Are you all right? Are you hurt? Oh, thanks. You're not from around here, are you? Where did you come from? Another town. I've moved here. Okay. I'm Melissa, by the way. What's your name? Wisteria. My friends call me Wisty. You want the car? Yeah. Well, hopefully you can get through on that website. That's where I got mine from. Uh, am I from Europe? Yes. Why do you ask? Well, from the UK, which is technically part of Europe, even though it left the uh, European Union. But let's not go there. Uh, and you have a DS capture card. Um, I do. I thought I had it out, but apparently not. I'll actually be using it next week because I'm going to stream the uh, DS version of Resident Evil. Hmm. Where is that DS? Oh, there it is. I'll go and get it. I know where it is. Here it is. It's actually a 3DS XL, and it's got an extra port in the top there where you can put a USB cable. And it was really difficult to get a hold of, actually, I had to find someone on eBay who was selling one of the old Katsu Kitty cards because he's stopped uh, doing the mods. And then it was a right pain on trying to get all the uh, settings to work on the program and getting the right IDs and verifications and things. Uh, you're wondering on shipping one from the USA and is shipping like 15 or more like 60? Hmm. Well, you'd also have to worry about import tax as well if it's over a certain amount. And I would say it'd probably be closer to 60 because of the value of the device and hopefully they would package it well. It's not cheap, but I'd say it is worth it, because it's really hard to get your hands on a DS capture card. Does it not tell you the shipping when you get through to ordering it? I have no idea how much mine was. I got it like five years ago at this point. Yeah, it wouldn't be a letter, because they would have to put it in a box with bubble wrap and stuff, so it would count as a small parcel, I think. Uh, let's see, what do we get in here? Hokkaido? Hokkaido butter. Is that better than regular butter? Next time I go to Japan, I've been thinking about going to Hokkaido, actually. No worries, you'll have to let me know next stream if you decided to, to get one or not. 60 before shipping. More like 300, I would say. If you're looking at a proper modification. There's two different main versions. There's Katsukitty or there's Loopy or Loppy. And you want to try and get the Katsukitty one if you can. Got a copper coin. What have we got left to find? We've got one more item, and I guess one more coin to find as well. And another earthquake! Oh no. Looks like another dead end. Uh, you two are fine without diving suits in the sea. What? You've even done a spacewalk without spacesuits? You're kidding me. I did do a spacewalk in the last one, because it was a, a murder mystery on a spacecraft, which was really cool. Definitely go back and check out that stream. Oh no! It's trapped me from the treasure chest. How annoying, I'm going to have to find my way all the way around now. Oh, and more? Will that be like a reverse? No. Tried to contact Loopy and ask, but there was no answer. Yeah, I don't think they're making them anymore unfortunately. And I saw one on eBay a few months ago and it was like £600, which is ridiculous. Don't spend that much on one. 
like 300? Yeah, maybe, but not not 600. That's just too much. Whoa, where did he go? Inside the building? No. I didn't know there was a hidden passageway here. We're at the back of the dive site. Yeah, way too much. Uh, hey, it was worth keep going then. What have we got in this one? Another copper coin. So I think that's all of them. If my thoughts about um, using it to buy the flowers are correct. Okay, and we can't go down there either. And I thought that's where I would be trying to get to. And I can't go down there either. Right, I guess we have to go up here. And loop all the way around, maybe? Yay! We made it! What have we got in here? There's the last ingredient. A jar of good flour. Compared to a jar of bad flour. Is the one you're looking at a DS with a capture card or a 3DS? It'd be worth trying to get a 3DS if you can, because you've got more options then. I really need to use mine more. I, like I said, I got that about five years ago and I've only used it a few times. I really need to find more of a reason to talk about DS and 3DS games on the channel. I used it for my top 15 3DS games video, which is still doing really well. And I've been very slowly getting stuff to add to that for a uh, Hidden Gems episode. But yeah, no promises on when that will actually be released. It's probably years away still. Some of the games are getting quite expensive. Like one of these Senran Kagura games is like at several hundred pounds now. And Yokai Watch 3 as well. It's got crazy expensive. Not really sure if there's anything left for me to find now or if I just need to try and find my way back up. I've got all the ingredients. I've got five coins. I guess I just have to go back to the start. Unless it's uh, crumbled in. Can I not just go up? I have to try and remember where that building was and claw my way back up again. It was somewhere to the right. I know that much, at least. More earthquakes. I don't even know if they're doing anything half the time. It took me a long time to get my license. We know. Okay, can't go right there. That's where I thought I needed to go. Does anyone remember how to get out of here? I'm just going to keep going to the right. It was somewhere on the right. Looks like another dead end. Are we getting there anywhere? Okay, not that way. This is where I wish I was playing it on an emulator so I could have a fast forward button. Right. While we're trying to find our way back around, what's everyone been playing recently? Oh yeah, and did anyone watch the indie Nintendo Direct earlier? I haven't seen it yet because I didn't realise it was on and I was out. Um, so I'll, I'll probably watch that after I finish streaming. Vibes of Silent Hill. I guess so. I did get very lost playing one of the older Silent Hill games. <clears throat> Baldur's Gate 3. It might win game of the year. It's in the run-ins. All I've been playing recently is Alan Wake. I played all the way through the remastered one and then the other day I started Alan Wake 2 and it is really good. I really like the story. 
or the story within a story. It's very psychological. It's really cool. I'm completely lost. And I'm holding down B like it's going to let me run, but obviously there is no run button. Ah, another dead end. Hey, you're not going to stray on the treasure, are you? I thought this was somewhere near the start. You gotta go, no worries, thanks for dropping by. Is that the way out? Oh, that's the way out, I just had to follow that light, okay. Yay, we made it, back to the surface. Does he have anything different to say? No. Alright, I guess we go back to the competition area. Yeah, see you next time, and let me know whether you get that capture card as well. Yay, okay, we got all the ingredients. You're a master of finding things. This will do for the dough now. Well, can you gather the additional ingredients I need for things like toppings? No! Get them yourself! You're right, we still haven't decided what the toppings are going to be. The additional ingredients we need depend on what type of torte we are making. Have you ever been to the town library? There's lots of cookbooks there. You can look up recipes and ingredients. Okay, I guess I have to go and find more stuff. I don't know why the music's so much louder in that area. Oh dear. Did you say they spelt library wrong? Uh, pleased to meet you. My name is Lepus from team number four. Hey, you don't stand still. Oh, you two. You two are jumping in, aren't you? What made you decide to enter the competition? Hey, what are you talking about? You're the ones from the team number two. Miss Mulberry, is it? I'm just wondering why you all came to the competition. Why? There's only one reason for us. Prize money! You know, I'm in a band and I needed so much equipment. That's cool. My reason is to make ends meet, I guess. I recently moved and started a new life, so I have a lot of expenses. Oh, everyone's here. What are you doing? Uh, Botica, we were just talking about why we are... Mm -hmm. In my case, I intend to use the prize money for travel expenses. I want to travel to more places, see more things, and eat more food. Wow, you have grand dreams. Then what about you over there? No, I don't really care about the money. Not for money? Then for what? She just wants to show off her skills, right, Melissa? To the head judge. Lepus? What? The head judge? What about her? Nothing. Ooh, you're in love with her. Hmm. Yeah, I can see that. She's beautiful, isn't she? I told you, that's not what it's like. Anyway, it's good to know that everyone has their own goals. Yes, but for that we have to win the competition. Excuse us now. See you at the venue. Mulberry, let us be going. I assume you're still looking for your ingredients? Oh, that's right. I won't let you three beat us. See you around. Okay, now we get to look at some more books. Strawberry cake is the easiest. You only need six ingredients. Flour, butter, sugar, eggs, strawberries and cream. Huh? Oh, you're the detective from the spaceship. I've been going through some stuff and ended up helping Yegiman and Natalia. That couple of idiots. Apparently, you're in a similar situation to me. They were people. Uh, they were people from the spaceship from the last, the last episode, and they thought they'd accused one of them of being the murderer, but it didn't. It turned out it wasn't actually them. It was actually the pilot, or the captain. Cool. See you next weekend then. To the gates, and thanks again for resubbing. See you then. 
It requires seven ingredients. I just want the one with the least ingredients and get this over with. Looking for additional ingredients? I see, but have you already explored all the undersea, no? Yet, this is not the only world where chests are to be found. You must have seen chests in other worlds you've travelled to, but you couldn't open them. Do you remember? Yes, I remember. Oh no. Visit those worlds again, you might be able to open those chests now. Making a plum torte might be a challenge. You'll need seven ingredients. Cinnamon powder, baking powder and plums. Apricot jam, baking powder, cinnamon powder and almond powder. Eight ingredients. Oh no, I need to go back to all the previous worlds. Alright then, let's do it. I'm determined to get to the end of this. Let's first see whether we can buy the flowers and check out what was going on at the pier. Yay, I can buy a bouquet. Thank you for your purchase. You bought a bouquet of white lilies for five copper coins. Right, let's go and see if we can use these. I don't know who you are, but thanks for stopping by. Have you prepared some flowers? I have. Okay, we better get started. It was a funeral for one of the town's residents. In the coffin was an old lady with long white hair. She looked close to the dreamer's age, but she was a different person. They said that they're not, there are no cemeteries or crematoria in the town, so deceased people are given a water burial. We decided to stay and see her depart. See, I said that the lady was dying. Now, lower the coffin. After watching the coffin sink, everyone threw in the flowers into the sea. I guess I'll throw mine in too. There we go. We were born in that city beneath the sea. Though it has sunk, this place remains our cherished home, and we have no intention of leaving. We live here, and in the end, we return to the city beneath the sea. Alright, now I guess I need to leave and go and find the other treasure chests hidden in the other worlds. Luckily the other areas aren't too big, so it shouldn't take too long. Alright, let's head back out. Will you wake up from this dream? Yes. Now I have to try and remember how to get back to the other ones. Oh, that's new. Hey you there, cat ears. Hot dog, wanna buy a hot dog? Why are people trying to sell me hot dogs everywhere? Right, there was someone in here. I think this was the first one. Miss Nana is sleeping calmly. Will you look into her dream? Yes. Alright, we are back in a weird dream with giant 3D cubes everywhere. I don't remember where the treasure chests are, so... Just bear with me while I walk around aimlessly in circles for a little bit. Hey, that's new. Yagi Man. Ah, it's you, Detective. Are you also here to gather ingredients for your own torte? This world smells fishy. My guess is there's four or five things we could use here. So, for those of you who weren't in last week's stream, this is where we collected all of the uh, tuna for the first story. Which I can't entirely remember the outcome of, but it was a weird one. And there was one really annoying bit where you had to keep pestering someone here to let you into their room. Hey, there's one. 
Let's see what we got in here. You open the chest. Got some strawberries. You got a handful of strawberries. That one's locked. I'm not sure which way to go now. This lady here, she was really annoying. I didn't realise you had to keep talking to her over and over. There's a Game Boy again. Is it true that you living things eat, eat other living things to restore your batteries? I guess you could think of it like that. Unless you're a vegetarian. They say children like us will go to a place called school, but why do we go to such a place? I suppose I don't need to talk to everyone again. They said the same things last time. Ah, there it is. There's another one. You open the chest. What do they get from this one? Pickled plums. There's one up there. How do I get over there? There was a hidden tuna there. I remember that. That stumped me for a while. You were the tuna seeker I heard so much about. Next time, be a salmon seeker. Right. This is a bit where you jump into the uh, washing machine. For some reason. It's weird going around this place in the wrong... Order. I wonder if she's cheered up yet. It was a long time ago when I was at school, and one morning I went to class and there was a vase of flowers on the desk. The teacher told me that the girl who used that desk had been hit by a car and died the night before. Rumour said that the girl had jumped in front of the car on purpose. It was terrifying. In those days, everyone in the classroom was cold and awkward. Eventually, I stopped going to school too. Oh. Okay, well, at least there's a reason that she's upset. Right, now we are back at the fish market, and this place was a maze, so... I don't actually recall there being any treasure chests in the market itself, though. There was one in here. There it is. What did we get? Some crisps? A bag of almond powder. Okay. Oh, you again. Ain't much left on this stage, but feel free to make yourself at home. Maybe I should explore the market just in case, but let's go around the outside first. See if there's any chests anywhere. Ah, you're the one who's seeking the tuna they were talking about. Oh, he hasn't changed what he says. It's difficult because you can't just tell from one screen whether there's something there or not because it scrolls a little bit too. Maybe there's something up there where that blob is? No, that takes me back up to the top. Does he have anything new to say? If you want to take a break from the game, press menu. No. Same old, same old. Right, there's definitely a new treasure chest in here. I remember this area. Not sure where exactly, but there is one somewhere. It even showed it in the preview.
whatever stream of Pokemon game. You must have missed it, but last year I streamed uh, a dual playthrough of Heart Gold and Soul Silver. That was fun. So yeah, don't see why I wouldn't stream another Pokemon game at some point. You open the chest. What did we get? Whipping cream. Yeah, it was really fun. We were doing a Soul, Soul Link Nuzlocke, which made it even more fun. Although we did end up dying a few times and ended up repeating everything. But if you have a look on my gameplay channel, you can find all the streams there if you want to flick through it. It was really fun, actually. I was naming the Pokemon that I caught in the game after the people in the chat on the stream as well. I was thinking about doing one for black and white in the same sort of thing. So... Maybe I, maybe I wouldn't mind doing that again at some point. Hmm, we missed one over there, somewhere. Yeah, I might do that early next year. Maybe that's something I could do at the start of the year, maybe. A Pokemon in black and white, Nuzlocke. I've been wanting to replay them games for a while. Wow, why did my light suddenly get super bright? Do you think they're going to do black and white remakes next year? I think it's about time, isn't it? Yay, another new follower. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Unholy Cheeto. What a name. Thank you so much. Uh, you got a jar of apricot jam. Yay. Right, I think that is everything in this area. Will it actually tell me? Oh, no, there are three more things to find. Oh, well, maybe they're from the other area, because I'm pretty sure I found all the treasure chests here now. Yay, thank you so much for the follow. You don't want it to turn out like Brilliant Diamond. Yeah, they were they felt a bit cheap, didn't they? Still good games, but yeah, they could have done so much more. To be honest, same. And I didn't really care that much about X and Y either. I found them to be very, very simple games. Black and White was like the last of the truly great Pokemon games, in my opinion, anyway. I know some people may disagree, but... I'm just sad they got rid of sprites, to be perfectly honest. They should bring it back, just as a design standard. Right, how the hell do I get back to the start here? Uh, Unholy Cheeto says, you've been watching YouTube for a long bit. Uh, you've been a lot of help with getting into the handheld hobby. Fantastic, thank you. My accent's stronger today. I don't know why that would be. Should I try and tone my accent down a bit? <laughs> I don't think I can, actually. Does anyone actually know what my accent is? Do you know where to, where to place me? I've had some really weird uh, people in the past saying I'm from all over the UK, so... For anyone who doesn't know, where would you say I'm from? Uh, X and Y was simple, but you still like them, the music's the best. Yeah, I love the music. Although, to be honest, even though I complained about Diamond and Pearl earlier, they have the best time tracks. In my opinion. Eterna City, Pokemon Diamond. Nothing can beat that. Yeah, you got it in one, Birmingham accent. Well, my dad was from Birmingham anyway, my mum was from London, but I definitely have more of my dad's accent. And my nan has a very, very thick Brummie accent. And o over the years, my Brummie accent has sort of died down a bit. I used to sound a lot more um, black country. I found some videotapes from when I was a kid, and it's crazy hearing the difference. Alright, I think we got everything from there. Now we've got to go and find the other guy wherever he sleeps. Uh, 
I can't remember. Does he live over here? Emerald's your favourite. Uh, I can never decide what my favourite is. There he is. Let's jump back onto the spaceship. Huh. Well, yeah, you got it in one. Congratulations. Uh, what is my favourite Pokemon game? I uh, I used to say Emerald, but then sometimes I think actually Crystal. And then sometimes I actually think Black and White. The craft is now running back towards Earth. Behind me, the door to the freight car. Please stay up it. But I need to get in there. That's where the treasure chest is. Maybe you're hearing my accent more now because I'm just sort of casually talking, whereas when I'm actually filming a video, I'm a little bit more eloquent and, you know, try and put a bit more emphasis on the words to make it flow a bit nicer on the video. Hello, detective. We're on the same boat again. Madame Natalia has decided to spend some time with Miss Yagiman, and I'm on my way back to Earth on my own. Chests? I do not know, but there may be two or three in here. Alright, let's see if we can find them. Yes, we have no choice but to go this way then. Birmingham in French Canadian. Well, I know there's a Birmingham in America. But definitely not from there. Sometimes my girlfriend gets mistaken as having a Canadian accent for some reason. Hello, detective. Nothing much here, but you're welcome to drop by any time. She's actually from Mid Wales, but no one can place where she's from. It's kind of funny. Every time we had someone coming round to the house, they would think she was from a different part of the world. Like, hey, oh, are you from New Zealand? Are you from Canada? Are you from... I can't remember where else I said, like, Scandinavia or something. Got some bacon powder. She was going to a seaside town or something. I need a vacation too. I won't miss a single dinner this time. Oh, detective, did you miss the food here enough to come back? Did we trust this robot? In the last part, this robot went crazy and filled the entire room with coffee or something. I serve delicious meals to everyone. This is the captain's room up here. If you press this button. I think. Did we go in right? You're right. Cabin. No. Apparently, if you just press exit, that's how you move the elevator. Let's see if the captain had any treasure. No? He's still here, though. Excuse me, who are you? Welcome to Orion Transport. I'm your new captain, replacing the missing predecessor, and will bring you safely to Earth. The large cockpit seat is empty. Maybe he should be over there instead of standing in the middle of the room, looking down? Just a suggestion. Yeah, we don't want to open that and float out into space. That wouldn't be good. What is my gameplay channel called? It's just called Retro Break Gameplay. And I upload my streams there every uh, every time I've streamed. I, uh, if I go on my channel... Or if you just go on my main channel and scroll down, you'll find it, but if you want to click on it, there you go. You can catch up on everything there. You open the chest. What did we get now? A jar of cinnamon powder. Yay, no problem. Even that little robot thing has a Santa hat on as well. Uh, am I stuck? Oh no, I can go up there, can I? 
I can't get back down though. Oh no, I'm trapped. I did that wrong. <coughs> Let's try again. If we even need to go back this way, I'm not sure. Like this. Yay, that worked. Is that a treasure chest? Luggage pushed aside. There's one. I think we must have found all the chests now. Neko Sumi's milk chocolate. Got a chocolate bar. Warning, recently some lazy crew seem to be kicking cargo to move it around. Right, I think that's as far as we can go. Um, you're too busy to open the menu. Am I too busy? I'm not doing anything different to normal. Does it just not like the opening it in that room, maybe? Let's see, I think we've got everything. Yes, we do. Okay. Now we just have to loop all the way back round. And then we can exit the dream. Can I push that all the way up? Hmm. Ah, like that. Ah! No, I messed up. So, push that up one, push that up one, push that down two, push that up one, there we go. Now push it across so that I can climb up the ladder and get over the top. Yay! This is basically playing Pokemon. All the block pushing puzzles. Now we have the long trek all the way back to the other side of the spaceship. Yay, there we go. When you wake up from this dream. Yes. <coughs> now we have to go all the way back across to where the old lady is. That was a nice little detour back to the old areas in the game. I like the music. I don't think the music's exclusive to this game because I've heard some of the tracks in this game before from other GB Studio titles. Anyway, let's get back in. Will you look into the dream? Yes. So now we've got all the ingredients, I guess I get to choose what uh, cake that we make in the competition. I guess I'll just choose the one with the most ingredients and I'll probably win. There's someone there, what do they have to say? My team is well prepared. <coughs> it seems you gather ingredients enough to make a torte. Well, are you ready to put the preparations phase behind you and move on? You'll be occupied during the cooking process, you won't be able to save the game. Do you want to start cooking? Um, I'll wait a minute because I'm going to go and have a look in the library for the right ingredients because I want to make sure that I'm making the best one. Oh. I think it just does that randomly. Right, I think this was the one with the most ingredients. The most skilled bakers. Should I be taking notes? I'm going to take a photo of it. Flour, butter, sugar, eggs, apricot, bacon powder, cinnamon powder, and almond powder. Okay, eight ingredients. Right, let's go and try and make that. Right, let's try again. Seems you've gathered ingredients enough. Are you ready to put your preparations behind you and move on? Yes, let's go! Okay, let's get started. I better open up my photos just in case I need to make this according to the instructions. Wow, that was a big one. we got to cook, but keep an eye out for earthquakes as they've been happening more frequently. Okay, what's going on? 
I borrowed the torty recipe from a book in the library earlier, so I'll be cooking with this. Now choose the type from the ingredients you have gathered. We'll be able to make strawberry cake. Basically all of them. Okay. These are our four options. Which one will it be? Let's go for that one. A lot of skill and quite difficult. Are you really sure you're up to the challenge? Yeah, let's go for it. The book says mix seven ingredients. Put a cinnamon powder on the fire. Uh, push to move them all into the bowl. Talk to me when you're finished. <clears throat> okay. Why are you there? Just there to get in the way. Oh no. How am I supposed to move the ones from the top? Oh, they keep sliding. Oh no. I'm going to be here a while. And I won't be able to move them from the bottom either. Oh man, this is going to be difficult. Okay, let's think about this. Hmm. Well, the eggs are easy at least. In fact, I can probably line these. Will that work? Oh no, have I put too much on the same row? Oh. Does that not count? Okay, do we have to line things up with the cat person instead? Right, okay, that's going to be a bit more challenging. Oh, I wish it didn't say that every time. Okay, let's do this one first. Off to a good start. Now I'm stuck. I can't go around the side there either. Hmm. Anyone got any uh, suggestions for how to do this? I really want to do this one because this is obviously the best uh, ingredients. Which will probably mean that I'll win the competition, but this is difficult. Ah, why can't you get underneath there? I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this. Hmm. And it's not like there's any... Um, playthroughs of the game online for me to follow either.
Someone's played through part one of the game, uh, but it doesn't go that far. Right, anyone who's watching, please try and help me out here because I hate these puzzles and I'm going to be stuck here for so long if someone doesn't give me some advice. So we have to line things up with this person here in order to push them down into the bowl. Oh, there's not enough of a gap there either, so I've already messed up. These ones are easy, you can just do that. Oh, maybe if I push it down now. Mm, no. Oh my god, I've got no idea. Anyone? Is anyone still watching? Please help me out. They're both stuck there now. Why? If I do this... It's too far over, it's just going to fly past it. Uh, although... No, they're both just st stuck there now, and now I'm stuck on this side. Oh shoot, I don't even have a choice. Oh, I can't exit. I can't even choose a different one. Oh no. Well, I can do these at least. There's two. I don't even know if this is actually possible. I might just have to end the game here. Hey! You've come at a terrible time. I completely stuck on this puzzle. I seriously need everyone's help. Anyone? Everyone, stop what you're doing. Help me figure out this puzzle, else I'm not going to be able to progress the game at all. And we're just going to have to call the stream here tonight, because I can't go back. I haven't saved at all in the past, what, two hours? And now I'm trapped in this puzzle. With no escape. I'm genuinely quite upset because I was really enjoying my time with this game as well. <sighs> and now I can't do anything. Please help me! Please! Uh, I don't know what to do. I can't... Uh, 
let's try and bring these things over. Let's think about this logically. I think I might have it. Uh, I think I might have it. If I can get on the other side. Yes. Okay. I might have it. One. Hmm. Two. Those two need to sort of stay there, I think. We can't let anything touch the bottom because it resets. Hmm. I can move that up. That one is going to be... an issue though. I can send them down there. I can send that down there. We're getting closer at least. These two, I'm not sure what to do with. Yeah, now I'm stuck. Well, that's the best we've done so far. Maybe I shouldn't panic so much. We'll get through this. Let's try it this way around. We don't want anything stuck on the side over there. Uh, I think I've messed up. Let's reset. So we need something... How did I do it before? We need something in line in between these two. Ah, I think I've got it. Okay, yeah, I do. Right. Ah, oh, I wish there was a way to undo moves. Can we get around there? Ah, uh, I don't think I can do anything with those eggs now, though. I think I've got the right idea, though. But you need to leave one somewhere down the bottom. Now I'm stuck with these two. it would come back. <clears throat> oh, or not. Now it's stuck over there. Right. Anyone got any ideas?
I need to... Screwed it up already. I've screwed it up. <sighs> what about if we do this that way around? No, they're all just stuck now. <sighs> God damn it, I was really enjoying this game too, and there's no... There's no walkthroughs online, there's nothing. There's literally nothing I can even try and Google. Unless there's some Japanese person that's uploaded a gameplay of it. There is someone here that's played the game, but I think it's only the first part. Oh no, it does go up to part five. Did they choose the same? Oh my god, it looks like they did. I'm not cheating, I promise. Well, maybe a little bit. They just skipped over it and chose an easier one. Oh man. I don't have the option to do that. I didn't save. And I'm not playing through like two hours of game again.
I'm just guessing now. I really don't know what I'm doing. Anyone? Anyone watching? Can you please help me out? Someone must know the answer to these sliding block puzzles. I'm so stuck. Please. Why did they make this? This is horrible. I genuinely have no idea how to do this at all. Maybe this will work for everything else. Apart from the final ingredient. Am I onto something? Except the final one. <coughs> hmm. Oh, damn it, I'm going to be down to one. That's the closest I've got so far. I 
drei. Still not sure how to get rid of that last one. <sighs> Are we getting any closer? Maybe. Push it. Hold on, let's reset. When you push it, come back. Try walk forward. Okay. I think we've got the first bit down anyway. Oh. Wait, maybe I've got it now. Maybe you just, you're just not supposed to push it all the way down. Leave it like that so it's half up and then it can touch... ...the uh, cat. Hmm. I think I've got it. Uh, maybe that's going to get stuck. I think I've got a... It only took like half an hour of scratching my head and complaining. Yeah, I think I have. Yay! We did it. I guess I better go and speak to that guy. Yeah, we did it! Next, stir the contents in the bowl until they are foamy. There you go. Anyone who's playing this game and you got stuck, here's the bit to look at. i got to count 10 seconds, so please stir as much as you can by pressing the A button repeatedly. Are you in position? Okay, ready, go. I don't have my turbo controller plugged in. Oh, here we go, the generic GB Studio music's back again. Time's up. You have stirred 73 times. Is that good? So good? Did you get it right? Can we move on? I presume so. Uh, next, spread half of the dough you have made with a spoon over the mould. The rest of the dough goes in the pastry bag. Okay, do I need to worry about anything? <clears throat> it says next, spread the jam all over the dough. Then use the pastry bag to make a pattern. Push and move the jam and then the pastry bag onto the mold in this order. So, there's the jam. This was a lot easier. And there's the pastry. Are we done? I think so. It says the next step is to heat in the oven for 30 seconds. 
move the mould into the oven, then press the switch on the right to turn it on. After 30 seconds, press it again to switch it off. Okay. Should I get a timer? In case we need to... Uh... Right. Stopwatch. 30 seconds. Do I do it now? Okay. There you go. I'm timing it. I guess I just have to press A again when it reaches 30. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, go. That's a perfect pie. It has to be. Okay. Oh, I didn't want to kick it. Are you done? Done. Did we do well? I hope so. Come on, surely we won the competition. I was honestly tempted to just give up on the game after I got stuck on that. Um, okay, the sun is setting. It is time. Dear contestants and neighbours who have come to taste the food, we will now begin the judging of the 921st cooking competition. Clap, 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 clap. Clap, 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 clap. We five judges taste each team's torte and then score it on a 10 point scale. The team with the highest total score is the winner. First up, team number one, Miss Spotica and the two cat ears who jumped in. Bring the torte you made! Okay, here we go, it's gonna get judged! This is... doesn't look too bad. What we've made is a linzer torte. Whatever that is, it looks like an apple pie to me. Let's see. Munch, 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 munch. Wonderful. This is excellent. Nine points. I liked the geometric and well-organized appearance. Ten. I think this is a masterpiece. 10 points. Yay. It makes me want to have as many refills as I can. 10 points. I would say that this is the king of tortes. 9 points. Why not 10? Well, the team number one's torte. A total of 48 points. Next, team number two. Wow, this is... Uh... What we have made is the candy torte. Let's have a taste. You topped it with all sorts of sweets. Seven points. I think I've won this. I chose the most complicated one and I actually managed to get to the end of it, so I deserve to win. How dare that Game Boy give it ten? Doesn't taste bad. Eight points. I wasn't sure about it at first glance, but it was delicious. Nine points. It was an original and wonderful piece of work. Eight points. The team number two scored a total of 42. Next, team number three. It's a nice cheesecake, seven. All right, I've won. If one of them gets a seven, that's already less than what I got overall, so should be fine. Seven, seven, six. I don't think it's my favorite taste, five. Textbook, but it wasn't bad. Seven. That makes us the winner. Oh, there's one more. Team number four. Let's see what they made. What's for those faces? This time, I promise you, I will make you say my cooking is good. Okay. 
What's that? What we made? It's a torto with tomatoes. It looks quite radical, but let's try it. Munch, 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 munch. This is something I've never tasted before. Ten points. Did I play Star Ocean? Not yet, although I am planning on getting it soon. I'll probably get it after I've finished Alan Wake 2 as my game to play over the Christmas period. Have you played it much? Have you played it yet at all, should I say? Ten. 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 Oh no! I think we're going to come in second place. Another ten. Do you remember? Of course, I always remembered. The first thing you cooked for me, it was tomato soup. It was a disaster. I was waiting for my chance to prove that I could do it right. You didn't have to, but thank you for letting me have such a delicious torte. Oh yeah, I almost forgot to give you a scorecard. Of course, I give you... Ten! You bought it, but you haven't played it yet. Are you planning to play it soon? Cup, 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 cup. I will now announce the rankings. Fourth place, 32 points. Team number two, second place, 48. Team number one, and the winner is... 50 points, a perfect score, team number four. And yes, we haven't yet announced what the secret prize is. The winner will get... It's me! What? I am asking the team leader, Melissa, to marry me right here, right now. Whoa. <laughs> the redecoration of the venue is done and we already have a cake. Let's start our wedding. I like how there's a Game Boy in the crowd. No pressure. Just go straight into the wedding day. I was a bit surprised by the sudden proposal of marriage, but it's like a dream come true. I'm asking you too. Will you marry me, Wisty? Of course I will, Melissa. Woohoo! There was a very deadpan cat in the background. Another earthquake. Whoa, the earthquakes are getting a bit stronger. Okay, that's enough for today, everyone. Let's be in a hurry, but not too hurry to get home. <coughs> Hmm. Is she still with me? What is going on now? Oh my god, don't do this every step. Uh, the power's out. I can't see. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Is there anyone there? How come I can see fine? Exit. Where's the exit? I'm scared. Oh no. Everything's crumbling into the sea. Okay. This is the road that I was in in the first dream. I think. Uh, 
Is it never ending? Is it like those stairs in Mario 64? Do I have to go up instead? No. Nope. I guess I just keep going down. Maybe? Can't go to the sides. Am I doing something wrong here? I hope it hasn't broken. Let's try going on this side instead. Uh, okay, let's try going up. Alright, there we go. We found a bridge. Okay, we found Melissa on a bridge. What is this place? I thought I was at... Oh yeah, I remember now. I'm in... In my dream. I remember this tuxedo too. It's exactly as it was that day. That wedding, that really happened. Although the wedding cake wasn't tomato. But Wisty, that girl was real. She was my wife. We got married, but that wedding was... It was 50 years ago. I was really happy after I married her. We have lived together for 50 years. But... She died last month. My wife was badly injured as a child and had not been well since. I think my wife has done her best. We lived a long life, didn't we? After she was gone, I went on the journey. I took the train from the city to city, but apparently I got tired and fell asleep on the way. The old lady you said you were looking for, was that me after all? I can see it now, this dream. It will be over soon. But I won't wake up. As this dream fades, so do I. Thank you for letting me dream about my wife one last time. Do you have someone you care about? Somewhere other than this place? In the outside world? Unlike me, you still have time left. That's fine. Sometimes you dwell on memories, but now it's time for you to go back to reality for the one you love. You should live, not in your memories, but in the reality where someone is waiting for you. Oh. And now she turns into a can of cat food for me to take. Of course, it's tomato flavour. Oh, I guess she's not waking up then. That's quite sad. Melissa is no longer breathing. Oh. Now what? Is no one aware that she just collapsed in that room and died. Oh my god. No. No one noticed. Okay, apparently maybe I could, like have her ashes in that cat food tin or something. Well, I guess let's go and sell them to the bird back here. Let me see the dream cans. There's one, two. You got all four of them. 
If you've got nothing more to do, I'll trade you the dream cans you've made for real cans of cat food right away. What do you say? Let's trade. Just hold on. Whoa, that's a lot. Phew, I believe this amount is a fair price for four dream cans. Oh, and yes, you'll need this. You've got a can opener. Those are mine now. The bird took up all the dream cans you had. I have to go to my room and make a call to the place where they buy my cans. Take your time and enjoy your meal. Let's eat all the cat food in the world. Munch, 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 munch. You have satisfied your hunger. There is still cat food left, more than you can eat. You picked up again and opened it. Munch, munch, munch. Do I just keep doing this over and over again? I guess I'll go and see the bird on the roof. Let's see what's on the table. Nothing. All right, then let's go upstairs. Oh, I thought it should be up here. No? Oh, in here maybe? A dream can is on the floor. Nothing is left inside anymore. There is a dream can on the desk. Will you pick it up? Mm, not yet. The dream can is on the floor. Nothing is left. Hee 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 hee. The bird is sleeping with laughter. Did she get drunk on other people's dreams? Do I take this one? I guess so. What do I do with it? Oh, it's the first can you found. Will you use the can opener to open this can? I guess so. I suppose that's what it wants me to do. What does that mean? Am I going to dream about being a cat again and turn back into a real cat? White-haired. At last, you've finally opened the lid of your memory. I've been waiting a long time to be able to talk to you. Yeah, we're back on the roof as a cat, I suppose. Is this... Whose dream am I seeing now? Nobody. You're seeing the city we lived in. Yeah, it is them as cats. Yes, I remember now. We were stray cats in this city. How could I have forgotten about you when I was with you all the time? Yes, we were together, but one day... She got hit by a car, if I remember right. There it is. You were the one who almost got hit by a car that day, not me. You saved my life by risking your own. You pushed me off the road, and... Are they injured? What am I seeing there? Yeah, I think so. You were badly injured, but you are still alive. However, since then you have remained asleep, not moving a muscle. I'm safe here. In my dreams I would never be hit by a car or attacked by a human. I can be out of danger here. We cats should be allowed to dream just like everyone else. But if you do, you'll eventually starve and in the end you will die. Oh my god. I know. Dreams won't fill my belly. So no matter how dangerous or painful it is, I have to find food in reality. I know that, but... That must be why she was dreaming about getting... Uh, getting cat food from collecting the dreams of other people. Please wake up. Open your eyes. 
for me. I don't want to lose you. I don't want to, uh, I don't want you to die because of me. So please, come back to me. Wake up! You need to find cat food in the real world. Will you wake up from this dream to return once again to your perilous reality and resume the endless quest for food alongside the white-haired cat? I suppose I will. If the alternative is dying in your dream. Thank you for your courage. Can you see? It's almost morning now. They're in the same place, but as real cats. Inception for cats, that's what this game is. I've been playing too much Alan Wake. The light! There's a tuna fish in the sky. Some jolly music. Is this the end? Story, art and game by Neku Bungi Samir. I love the artwork in these cutscenes. Ah, are these the people that they dreamed of in the real world? They do exist. <coughs> Main theme music by that person. There's the teacher whose kids all died in a horrific um, bus accident. There's the old lady, still dead at the train station. Great. Why has no one moved her? <laughs> Have we got some more game? Got some more story? Neko can dream. The end. Is that it? Anything after the credits? Or is it just going to loop back around to the title screen? Well, there we go. We completed it. I'll just turn the sound down a little bit and we can share our thoughts on the game. So, overall, enjoyed it. The story didn't quite go the way I was expecting and it wasn't quite as hard warming or heart-wrenching I guess as I was expecting it to be but it was still a very nice game some bits were a little bit annoying like the puzzle at the end there and the collecting in the first area went on a little bit too long in my opinion but I loved all the different environments I loved the graphics the music was good despite some of it being music that I'd heard in previous games already but overall yeah really enjoyed it and definitely recommend checking it out if you like story driven games and you want something a little bit different for the Game Boy so that is it for now. Thank you so much for checking out this stream. And hopefully, if I come over here onto the Mac, and I'm going to try and raid someone, so bear with me. Hopefully, Rusu Chu is still streaming Resident Evil. Hmm, doesn't seem like she is. Oh. I don't really have anyone to send you to. You can uh, go over and watch some Trackmania with Virtual. Anyway, thank you so much, everyone. 